Greetings, Inquisitors. Welcome to the Holocron. This is the week 185 update for the Darth Loquitur account. I update this account's progress every week, go through all the characters, ships, mods, datacrons, whatever I'm doing for the account, so that y'all can follow along. Please remember, as we get started, hit that like button. It does help me. It helps the channel. I'd appreciate it if you could do that. All right, so we had a little bit of a detour. I was working on Cal Kestis, but uh, we had everything that we needed to relic this Padme. And uh, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. We've had Padme forever. And uh, it's about time we put some relics on her with the upcoming Galactic Republic push and all that. Seemed like a good thing to do. We took a look at this um, Imperial Remnant team. Thought about adding some relic levels to them as well. But uh, I'm also thinking about adding a Relic 9 to my Sith Eternal Emperor. Just getting his... Um, armor and health up a little bit here we put an arrow on him to get uh, I had a health main stat arrow with some extra stats on it so we're just gonna take him all the way to the max get him 167,000 health 59% uh, armor so we uh, we got him as good as he'll get now hopefully that'll help us out in some of the grand arenas we're gonna work on gray mods we got a bunch of gray mods this week but uh, our run here is not that great. We get some eight speed and nine speed hits on these mods, but um, nothing very good and no mods that develop higher than the first couple clicks. Here we get nine speed and we miss on it. And with a nine speed mod, I just don't think it's worth taking uh, many more slices on. So we'll be done with the gray mods. We get a tenacity main stat mod with a um, potency mod set. So I take it up to gold, but I'm not willing to invest in it, uh, going to six dots and slicing it because of the tenacity main stat. Here we're just working on some other mods, trying to get Padme going. I'm gonna mod her with health or defense mods. And before you say that defense mods aren't good for Padme, uh, they are. We've done the math to prove it that, uh, you know, even though her skills and abilities are based off of health, it's still fine to put defense on. And we get her to 57% armor. And then I go back in here and I take a look and uh, we do take this defense mod up to six dots. We just want to max that out. Defense main stat mods aren't as good as health stat mods, but uh, that's what we've got to work with right now. So we end up at a total of 58% armor. Anyway, we're going to take this Padme and put it into our Galactic Republic team with Jedi Master Kenobi. Um, and that's pretty much it for the updates. Uh, I did get Cal Kestis one more gear level, uh, but that was it. And uh, pretty much everything else is on hold, waiting on Kairos, waiting on... <laughs> we'll be waiting on... Uh, we'll do Cal Kestis and then we'll get into the uh, uh, the new Queen Amidala. Account stats for week 185 uh, were at 9.45 million galactic power, 166 relics, 144 Zetas, um, 21 Omicrons, Squad Arena JMK is getting us top 50, Fleet Arena Executor is getting us top 5, GAC we're Kyber 2, and the project will be Cal Kestis Relic in week 187. Uh, next week, we're going to be farming uh, Keller and Beck, Paz, Boss Nass twice. All of the other stuff that I was farming, uh, we're going to get finished off in this event. The shard drops are quite generous for the event, so uh, Tarful and Saw Guerrero, uh, I expect to be finished through the event, so we'll be done with those. Fleet, we're working on IG-12. Cantina will work on signal data. Mod energy, we'll do three slicing, four mod energy. And we'll do one extra refresh on mods. The planning, we're looking at that Queen Amidala raid setup stuff and the Jedi Knight Cal Custis journey. Uh, tier 2 stuff, we're working on Zalbar for the uh, Malak journey. Kind of in the background, we've got Seer, Cal, Saw, Tarful, and Marin that we gotta uh, keep working on. And then uh, just the Jedi Knight Cal Custis farming uh, will finish up here shortly. Then we'll keep working on the stuff for the big Bo-Katan and the Gungans for the raid. 
The relic priority order, we took a detour from Cal Custis and went down. We had Padme in that fifth slot, but we went ahead and went uh, went ahead and relic her. I've replaced Darth Revan in here with Barris. Uh, I really want to do Revan, but we also need to <laughs> to work up a team for Queen Amidala if we're going to pay attention to her. We need a team. And I was going through all my Galactic Republic stuff trying to lay out what kind of team I would want. And I'm one character short of being able to support the teams I currently have and also get Queen Amidala up and running. So we're looking at Barris Afi as another relic that we should make. So we got Cal Kestis, Queen Amidala, Barris. She won't take any Kairos other than the gear 13 level Kairos. So that'll let us keep working on the other stuff in the background. And we did get the Padme done, and then we'll just keep focusing on the raid characters. So with Padme, I've been one Jedi short on my offensive teams. Uh, if I want to have a team under Darth Revan with Jedi Knight Luke and all of that, then I come up one Jedi short for, for my Jedi Master Luke team. So I'm going to go ahead and take Shock T off of my JMK team, put this Padme in there, and that'll free up a Jedi. Uh, that I need on offense. Uh, I still get back to Cal Kestis. I may get him already next week as planned, and if not, then certainly I'll get him in one, week 187. And then we'll look forward to Queen Amidala after that. So uh, there's a term in chess called Zweichenzuk, and it means in between move. So this is kind of an in between Queen Amidala team. It's obviously not what I'm going to want long term. But if I get her unlocked and get this team up and running and we can put a Datacron on it, we'll just try to make it like a bit of a timeout team, make it hard to kill. Maybe we can't even put Mace Windu in there because uh, we have to see. But I, th I think the the Padme clone is, uh, is a tank and we may not want another tank in this team. There's some other stuff that we could mess around with, but um, I think Barris for this team, get Ayla in there, get the Shakti in there. Just a lot of characters that have annoying abilities or a lot of durability and just try to take it to time. So it's an idea. I don't know how well it's going to work, but uh, until I get the new characters up and running then uh, that, that are actually made for the Queen Amidala team, this will be the in-between team that we're going to work on. I did put the Zeta on Barris a long time ago, so... You know, at the time, I had a use for her in a team at low gear levels. And since then, she's been on the bench for really a long time. And it uh, feels like now would be a good time to go ahead and take her up. She's Like I said, she's already got the Zeta, so it, uh, it's not even a resource sink in that uh, sense. And all of the characters that I'm putting in this team are still characters that can go somewhere else once I get the right characters for the team. So... A bearish relic won't be wasted. Uh, I would relic Kiati Mundi, but uh, he takes Kairos. Everything takes Kairos, so we'll be waiting on the Kiati Mundi for a while. That's going to wrap up the week 185 update for the Darth Lokwitter account. Thank you for stopping by. Please remember to hit that like button on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I'm doing my live streams. And of course, uh, the links to the Discord are up above and down below. You can click on that, join a nice community, nice uh, place for early game players, mid game players, experienced people willing to answer questions and help new players out. And uh, there's an Ask Lokwitter channel. You can just get in there and ask me a question directly and I'll answer it when I get the opportunity. Hope to see you over there. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next Holocron.